Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, I'm hoping to get a bit spooked out today. We're going to do another reaction video this time that spookifies five scary ghost videos that only the brave will watch at night. I'm hoping for some good creepy stuff going on here. Stuff that we can't really explain. If you wouldn't mind popping by Spookify's channel and dropping them a sub, be very grateful. Uh, the link is in the description. If you wouldn't mind subbing to my channel as well. And I am trying to push for monetization, so I do need to hit some viewing figures. So if you wouldn't mind watching a couple of the other videos, there will be some links at the end. Uh, be very grateful for that. And also while you're here, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up and leaving some feedback in the comments, be very much appreciated. I am still learning with all this, so any feedback is very gratefully appreciated. Thank you. Let's jump in and see what this one's all about, shall we? Let's hope it's a good one. Our first clip was uploaded to the Reddit by the user SirSquid on the subreddit Ghosts. The footage shows kisses a trucker driving on the highway in the middle of the night when he encounters something downright disturbing. Someone walking out. That was a bit creepy. The short clip seems to showcase a transparent looking figure at the side of the road. Taking a look at it in slow motion, one can clearly see that the figure doesn't appear to have a solid shape at all. Other Redditors started wondering if this could be related to another story, where a person drove his car into a river with a child in the backseat. The Redditors therefore speculate if this could be the ghost of a child standing on the side of the road. What do you make of this one? It looks a bit big for a child. Um... I think I remember seeing that story actually. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Shadow, Shadow figure. figure. Uploaded to the YouTube channel Blue Candle, this guy was alarmed by his dogs when they all of a sudden started barking and staring towards another building in the street. At first, the guy just thought the dogs had seen a cat or some other animal. When he realized that this was not the case, he quickly took up his phone and started recording this. Well, not behind the stairwell. That's hard to make up. I think it's sort of this here we're looking at. Yeah, it does seem to be moving. It could just be shadows off the tree or whatever, but it is a bit weird. Hmm, maybe a not. A creepy looking shadow figure can be seen standing behind the staircase in the background. The figure doesn't appear to give off any light at all and seems to just be a completely dark entity. Even though the video is dark, there is still enough light to have shown if the person was wearing clothes or not. Yet, this entity seems to just be pure darkness. So, is this a shadow figure caught on camera? Bunker. That was a... At first I just thought it was the tree, like, sort of shadows coming through the tree. But then when it sort of stepped out, it did look a bit bizarre. What okay. What do you think? It's thought it was a bit miffed now, that one. That's a good one, that. Bunker. Uploaded to Reddit by the user DJ Nocturnalist. He explains, quote, My friend from the Scottish borders sent me this video, but I just screen recorded it on my phone and then posted it on here. End of quote. The bunker is located in Chilbolton, near Stockbridge, Hampshire, England. As the guy enters the bunker, he captures this on camera. I always wanted to come back here and Ooh, yeah, man, no, shoot eh? some footage, because you never know how long these bunkers are going to be around for. Like, 
used to come up here when I was a kid, like, <laughs> with uh, friends and family that lived close by. really dark, but as soon as he rounds the corner, one can see a weird looking shadow figure standing stationary in the back of the bunker. Is this some real proof of something paranormal? That could be anything really. It does look quite creepy, but the potato video didn't really help like, but um... Looks like someone in a Halloween costume. If you are enjoying this scary compilation so far, then be sure to boop the like button so it can reach out to more people as I put quite a lot of time into my videos. Thank you. Now back to the video. Yeah, I'm so grateful to Spookify for giving us permission to do reactions to his videos and sort of spread the, the word as such. If you wouldn't mind dropping by his channel and dropping him a sub, be very much appreciated. Paranormal activity posted to Reddit by the user now user. The Redditor explains, "Quote: My mom recorded this last night in our hotel's office. Take a look at the footage and make a judgment on your own if this is caused by paranormal activity or not." It's strange you can't see the bottom of the chair fully, but you might still see a hand moving underneath of someone spinning it. The chair can be seen both pulled and swinging seemingly by itself. Unfortunately, the time bar is very big. It could potentially cover up some strings. But what do you think yeah. of this one? He pretty much summed it up there. It could just be someone just out of shot. But I'd like to think it wasn't. I'd like to think stuff like that can happen. In the basement. Basement. What do you guys think? The basement is a Los Angeles-based escape room that is known for its immersive and intense horror themes. Cool. The backstory of the escape room centers around a fictional character named Edward Tandy, who was a renowned serial killer known for his brutal and sadistic methods of torture and murder. According to the backstory, Edward Tandy operated in the early 20th century and was never caught by law enforcement. In the basement, players are tasked with uncovering the secrets of Edward Tandy's lair which is a series of interconnected rooms filled with puzzles and challenges that players must solve in order to escape. Recently, there has been quite a lot of attention around the basement on TikTok, as more and more paranormal activity has been captured on camera by people trying out the escape room. Cool. 
The paranormal investigators of Red Ghost Club Paranormal have been invited over to perform an investigation to possibly capture any proof of the paranormal activity that has been happening over the last couple of months. The investigation starts off with the owner of the escape room showing the most recent paranormal activity that was captured. In the footage, we can see a lid from an urn getting popped off and landing on the floor right next to the lady in the footage. The owner further explains that before the escape room, this place used to be a clothing store, but that the building itself is built on top of an old cemetery. Graveyard. The owner then takes the investigators to where most of the activity happens. If you look back here, this is our event space. Oh, wow. This is like where the weirdest stuff has happened. Poltergeist activity is pretty much what we're going to be looking out for. And then is there any way that you could cut the sounds? All of it? Yeah, probably just all of it. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, yeah. so let's kind of do like a little... I'll turn off stuff back. Like yeah, I'll, I'll just give you a quick... Just so you can show you what everything is. Yeah. So this is the basement. This is the one we built 10 years ago. Um, I've always had strange feelings about this space in general. So there was a veiled woman that's been seen in this room, because I thought that we were just dealing with poltergeist for a second, but these are like full body apparitions. Yeah. So this is going to be really, really interesting. And where did you see the black hands? Like yeah. The employee was in those back offices and they heard, I think this is where they heard the door slamming. And they came through this door and their camera view comes this way. And right here, very clearly, like you see something go like this. Oh. And it's like, clear as day and I don't know if it's a hand but there's a dark shape that just disappears that's yeah. right here I was just about to ask if we we're actually gonna get to see the footage but for the Elmo doll being in the middle of the room wait what what you know what that's the I first know. thing I I, I look at wait, wait it wasn't there I don't no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It I wasn't. looked at that. It was the first There's thing I noticed. There's supposed to be in there. That wasn't. Oh no, no, actually, not lied. It's supposed to be there. That wasn't there. That's we were the first recording. thing I noticed walking in here. I'm like, I don't remember seeing that. You the have to be kidding in. me. I was standing right here last time, and I feel like I would have noticed yeah, that there was a. Yeah, that's supposed to be up there. That's how. Okay, because we were standing right there. I know. We would have seen that. I'm, I'm certain that was not. Yeah, that initial hand thing, that could have been someone else. There wasn't really any context to the rest of that video. But that's a bit odd if that's moved while they've been in there. After stumbling upon the teddy bear lying in the middle of the floor that just a couple of minutes earlier was placed on the desk, they decide to start the investigation and perform an EVP session. Can you make a noise for us if you're in this room? See. See? What do you want us to see? Yeah, there's like little tapping noises going on around us. What do you want to show us? We're here. I need more energy. I need more energy? Uh, what? what does that mean? Like, more to like talk or show us how? We are allowing you to use our energy. Do not use our equipment energy. My battery's half full now. Yours too? Yeah, because remember when we were just out there and I said I still had full battery, yeah. now I'm at half. So I don't know if whatever's here is draining my battery now. Yeah, because the first battery we had is just it completely drained, drained. And we had like three hours in that. Right, bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you. Are you in here, Butras? Trixie, if you are here with us, can you please tell us how old you are? That's a bit of a long shot, but I do want to know if she is a child. Maybe that's the connection with the doll on the floor. There's a cool device next to the doll. If you go up to it, it lights up these really cool... <gasps> it lights up these really cool colors. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you, Trixie. Isis is left. Thank you, Trixie. <laughs> the building. Thank you. We had that on the whole time oh, right here in the hallway and nothing. See my shadow. See my shadow? 
We heard a lot of people have stories about you, so we want to have stories of our own. Roberts. Roberts? Yeah, it sounds like a last name, Robert. Whoa. Again. Was that the huge bag again? Whoa. I am so on edge. I know, me too. I feel like I'm in like a real life Scooby Doo scenario <laughs> now, right now. <laughs> this place is. Yeah, we are. Okay, can you please direct us to another room then? Are you trying to get us out here? Okay, we're gonna go and head over to another room right now. Trixie, if you're here with us, feel free to follow us over there. Try and stand as still as possible so we're not just crunching. Yeah. I'm just sitting right here, so. <laughs> okay, Victor. <laughs> Can you please tell us if there's anything to do with this satanic plaque that used to be in here? Was that used in a ritual or for worship <laughs> or that belonged to somebody who I don't even know. I don't I wouldn't even know how to describe that thing because I've never seen one before. Are you afraid? Are you afraid? I'm not afraid, no. Do you want us to be afraid? <laughs> what was that? Everybody, hold on. That's mine. It's all around. That was pretty cool. Watch out. Watch, Watch out. out. Watch out. Watch out. That really happened. Oh, because they can, you can get locked in there sometimes. Yeah, the door can lock in sometimes. <coughs> Weird, I thought. I keep hearing things. Locked in here. Where are my ashes? <gasps> Whoa. Bro, that's the urn in the screen. Oh, screen. God, the urn. They have a... Yeah, so they have, they have a, a video of an urn, urn, like the top part just popping up. They have it's a, a real video. urn. Yeah, it's I a have real it. urn. Yeah. We should go over there. We have to go yeah, over it's, to it's the urn. Yeah, talking about that. We should go check that out. The investigators decide to head over to the urn that they previously had checked out, as the spirit seems to indicate that it wants them to head over there. Once they arrive at the urn, they discover something chilling. Close, yeah, it. because I showed you because you wanted to see if it happened again. It's open. It's open. It's open. We close this completely. I didn't touch it. Yeah. Frozen. Screw that top on. I don't really understand how that would. Yeah, come that's off. how you set the room. So it's. Can not... we leave it like that? Yeah, it's right. That's fine. Okay, so the urn has been set. No, no. Because yeah, I remember because you told me to close it. So yeah. Something so, else will happen. Yeah. Yeah, we have that all on video as well, so you'll be able to see that we definitely. Because I even closed it too when I touched that. it to show like an yeah. up close shot. I closed it. Someone's watching. There's nothing in there, right? Oh, oh pearls. From the game. Yeah, that's close. Pearls? Were there previously? Yeah, Wait, we got the name Pearl. We we thought that was a, a name. name. No, there's pearl necklaces. We have a pearl bracelet over there, too. Pearl so might not be a name. Something's with the pearls in there, and it wants to get out? Or is it like a pearl necklace? Like a pearl bracelet? Like a pearl necklace? Like a pearl necklace? Or I don't know. Charlotte, Charlotte again? It's the second time it said that name. It's turning into a bit of an escape room while they're there, isn't it? It's mad. Call out. We're calling out to any spirits who want to come forward. If there's any spirits who want to show us you're here somehow, you are welcome to. You're not welcome to touch any of us, though. But you are welcome to use the devices. Caitlin and my stomach dropped. John. Joan. Whoa. Yeah. They made my stomach like drop. Joan? Are you upset? Little. You're a little, a little upset. upset, yeah. 
why are you upset? Can we do something to help you? I just feel like a pit in my stomach. Like, you know when you get really upset and it's just like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I kind of feel angry. I feel a little bit upset. I don't know. I'm just like upset, angry. The investigations have given quite a lot of signs indicating poltergeist activity, objects being moved, and the EVPs. Is this the spirit of a child trying to reach out to our paranormal investigators, or is it all just a hoax set up by the crew of the basement? Considering the basement is based off a fictional character, it makes you wonder maybe this is all just a setup. You decide. I thought it sort of seemed like a, a game. Like following clues around and stuff, but it'd be nice to think it was genuine. They seem genuine enough, um, but whether the guys who run the place are playing them or not, I don't know. What do you guys sure think? Get some of these videos. Yeah, let us know what you think in the comments, guys. I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on them. Um, there was some alright stuff in there, actually. It was There was some creepy stuff. I'd like to think that last one was genuine and not the hosts playing them off, but um, I might have to do a bit of investigating myself and find out if there was any more to that. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you want to discuss this or any of my other videos, please pop by my live streams from around 10 o'clock UK here on YouTube. I'm wanting certainly discuss anything you want to discuss please hit the thumbs up on the video if you haven't already done so um leave a comment anything i'll do just even just an emote or whatever to try and generate some engagement be very grateful for that and in the meantime i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys